Okay, YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make an explosion in Sunny Vegas. This is pretty much just like the muzzle flash tutorial, except you're using a video instead. Um, I'll put a link to the muzzle flash in the other video, or in the description, sorry. But to start off, what you need to do is go to detonationfilms.com or any other website that has explosion downloads, but Detonation Films is a for sure place to go. You can easy, easily find it by using Google. Once you're in the um, directory, just scroll down and until you find explosions and find when you like. I've already done all that, so I'm just going to exit out the internet and open up Vegas. I've already imported the files. One is the video of the explosion, and another is the street that I'm using as my background image. Okay, start off, you're going to want to drag in your street. You're going to drag it down to the second video track. See some number two? You can increase the length to whatever you need if you're using a picture. Now you're just going to drag the video right on top of it. When you download a Detonation Films video, there's always going to be a little logo right here that says Detonation Films. To get by it, just skip over a few keyframes until it's gone. Hang on, my computer's being... Holy crap, what's going on? My computer's like freaked out on me. But anyway, just go over a few keyframes until it's gone and the explosion starts. And just trim it out. Position it wherever you need it. And right now, it looks something like this. Wait, boom. That's a big problem. You know, that's like the bad part. To get rid of the black background, go to compositing mode and select screen. However, some people like more of a glow to it. If you want more of a glow or brightness, change it from screen to add. It does the same thing, but pretty much brightens it up really much, a lot. So there's a different, small difference. Okay. Now, like, you're probably wondering, like, what if it's behind something? Like, what if I had the explosion way, way back there? And it needs to be, like, right at the corner of that building. If you ever know how to do masking or anything, you're pretty much done. But, for those who don't know how to do masking, just keep on watching. What are you going to do now? You can drag in the street again, and you drag it up right above the video of the explosion. So what you should have is picture, video, picture. Go to the top picture, event pan crop, zoom in, come down here, select mask, select the creation tool. And just mask out everything that want, that you need to be in front of the explosion, like the post here, the bush, the corner of the building. I'm not gonna get too detailed. But anyway, there's mine. Now it should come out a lot better. See, that looks a lot better. Just mess around with the keyframing, well not the keyframing, but the positions of the masking until you get the desired look. See, and then you can always use feather, which will smooth out the edges, and to finish it off you can always add a nice explosion from a place like findsounds.com or whatever. So. Now it's like rendered up and you're done.